All right, Shalom. One, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Waharakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect that are told in his truth. I'm Pathakamath, Jim S. Dallas. And I'm just coming back at you with a really quick hit lesson. And I'm just, I'm going to uh, uh, entitle this exactly what you see on the screen. A paradigm shift is coming. You know, because, uh, you know, this came up in my news feed. Uh, I believe this dude's name is uh, Christopher Green. He's with AMTV. Uh, you know, this dude is bugged out, man. You know, I, I'm not going to play anything that he said. You know, this dude is a, is a Jesus freak, you know, Edomite Jesus freak. You know, some of the things he, he brings out, some of the information is on point and it's good information. You know what I'm saying? And, and of course, brothers can, uh, you know, can listen to this dude. I saw, I'm sure a lot uh, of brothers listen to this, this guy. And you, you, you just filter through, you know, and, and, and you pick out the bones, you know, and take uh, uh, the meat, you know, take what you, what you can use and, uh, you know, just filter through it, man. But this dude is bugged out. You know what I'm saying? He's a complete bug out, you know, uh, Jesus freak bug out, Edomite Jesus freak bug out. So I'm not going to play any of, uh, of his video. I just thought that the title in itself was very spiritual. You know, when the times of, of uh, uh, prophecies uh, are coming to pass and being fulfilled, and uh, this title right here, this is a paradigm shift, was a very spiritual title. When I saw it, I was like, I got to do a lesson on this. You know what I'm saying? That's the spirit, <laughs> you know, calling for, for me to do a lesson, man. So so immediately I'm like, okay, I'm, let, let, let me, let me, let me uh, uh, put this on wax. So, uh, uh, you know, because that's exactly what's happening, man. You know what I'm saying? There is a paradigm shift that's happening in the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? So... I'm going to, the first thing I want to do, I want to go to, I went to the dictionary and I typed in a, a paradigm so we can understand what a, para, a, a paradigm is. So when it says a shift, you know, we'll, we'll have the understanding of what, of what, what's going on, man. So I just typed in paradigm and, and we're going to deal, we ain't dealing with the linguistics. We're going to deal with, uh, 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 the actual definition of a paradigm, which is a noun. And it says a typical example or pattern of pattern of something a model <clears throat> you know what i'm saying so this is dealing with the the rulership of the earth man you know a typical example or pattern of something a model which in these times has been esau the red hebrew edomites man the so-called self-proclaimed a, a white man, woman, and child, or, or, or in these times, the leaders are the men, so the uh, so-called self-proclaimed white man, you know what I'm saying, who go back to their forefather Esau. You're the true <clears throat> uh, 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 red Hebrew Edomites of the Bible, man, and this is dealing with your rulership, man. You know, a typical example or pattern of something, a, a model, man, and this dude has been the worst example and pattern the worst model ever, man, you know, of, of how to rule the planet Earth, man. You know what I'm saying? He's been the worst ever. You know what I'm saying? This has been the worst uh, 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 management of the planet ever since there was a nation, man, ever. This this is it. This is this has been the, the ulti, ulti, ultimately this has been the worst uh, rulership ever. You know what I'm saying? And this was an uh, like like it says, this was an example of. To the Israelites, who are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent, you make up the 12 tribes. And of course, we know there's a, a, a that scattered seed of the Israelites among the other nations, these heathen nations that may look like the, the heathen nations, man. You know what I'm saying? You make up the 12 tribes, and he's that example of what not to do. You know what I'm saying? Of what the Lord does not want you to do or expect. You know, a typical example, Esau. <clears throat> the worst rulership or pattern, you know, the pattern this, this devil has put in the earth to follow, to the, that example and pattern to follow after, you know, which is nothing but iniquity, uh, a sin, wickedness, and evil, man. You know what I'm saying? Everything contrary uh, uh, to what, how you should run and, and uh, uh, rule the planet, man. You know, a model. He's been the worst example and model uh, uh, to pattern yourself after, man. You know, he's been the worst model. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So that righteous uh, example and pattern and, and model is about to uh, uh, come into the earth. That's why this was so uh, uh, 
spiritual to me when I saw it, when I saw this uh, title, this is a paradigm shift, that example, that model, you know what I'm saying? That, that, uh, uh, what did it say? That, uh, that pattern, you know, the example pattern model, the, you know, it, it's shifting, you know, from, from wicked, you know, to righteous man, you know what I'm saying? So I just, let's get into the scriptures, man, you know, because the earth, you know, has been given <clears throat> into the hand of the wicked. So I'll get that in Job. This is Job chapter nine and verse 24. And it reads, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wherein, who is he? Which we now know, uh, uh. The wicked is are, are uh, the Edomites, man, the, the, the biblical Edomites who go back to your forefather uh, Esau, man, who are the so-called self-proclaimed white people in these times, man, you know. And uh, when you read in uh, uh, Malachi, the first chapter, it breaks that down, you know, they're the border of wickedness, man. You know what I'm saying? And the earth is definitely given into his hands, into and and into his power, man. You know, he he's he controls everything. That's why you see his faces, Edomite faces, so-called uh, 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 white people's faces on the currency, man. You know what I'm saying? They're making all the decisions, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not hard to tell. You got you you got a uh, 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 countries like uh, uh, China, that that if you look back, uh, uh, like go back in time. Their culture, they didn't wear suit, suits and ties, man. You know, that comes from the so-called self-proclaimed white man, man. You know what I'm saying? Esau. Now they're wearing suits and ties. You see suits and ties everywhere you go on the planet Earth today, man. You know, the the the, the currency, so-called self-proclaimed white people are on the currency. You know what I'm saying? That everybody has been using on the planet Earth, man. Everybody wants their hands on, you know. So this dude, it's not hard to tell. That's just a couple examples. But this is not hard to tell whose hands the earth or, or, or power the earth is in right now. So it says the Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Esau, Malachi 1 and 4, it's not hard. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. That's why you see and the ultimate judge that he covered was Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I'm saying? And turned him to a, 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 a God by the name of, of Jesus, man, in these times, man. Which goes back to, uh, uh, which in these times is, is a God by the name of Cesare Borgia. Which goes f even further back to a to a, 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 a an idol, a false god, uh, 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 Serapis Christus, man. You know what I'm saying? So he changed and he covered the face of the judge. He covered all of the Israelites, man. If you Google any Israelite of the Bible, you're going to see a so-called self-proclaimed white person. If you type in God in, in Google, you're going to see a so-called uh, a white man with a long beard, bald headed, that uh, just off, man, with a long white beard and, and, and some some what looks like spirits that's trying to escape from him, trapped in a bubble, man. It's, it's, it's all BS and nonsense, man. But he covered the faces of the judges. Those are the judges. That's why you have uh, uh, in, in the land of Israel today, uh, uh, which they call it today is Israeli, you know, uh, uh, Jewish. You have some people over there that are not the people of the Lord, man. They're, they're, they're uh, Khazarian uh, uh, converts, man. The Khazars, man. You know, they go back to their forefather Esau, man. You know, they're Edomites, you know, which the Lord hates. Romans, the ninth chapter, Malachi, the first chapter, you know what I'm saying? Goes into that. You know, he hates the, that nation of people, man, you know, because it's dealing with nations. Because when you read in Genesis, the 25th chapter, you know, it says two nations is in thy womb when, 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 when dealing with, uh, 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 Rebecca, when he was, when, when, the, uh, uh, the Lord, when Rebecca entreated of the Lord, man, you know, why her kids were fighting in her womb. He, he said, two nations are in thy womb. And two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels, you know, in Genesis, the 25th chapter, man. So so this is dealing with nations. Jacob represents a nation of people, which we now know, which are the Israelites, because Jacob's name was changed to Israel when he fought the, uh, a wrestle with the angel in one man, you know. So he represents the Israelites, the children of Jacob slash Israel, the Israelites, the, the, the Ban Yasharala, the sons of Israel. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That's what that is. And it's the 12 tribes, man, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent. You make up those 12 tribes. And then you have Esau, the son uh, or, 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 or the progenitor of the so-called self-proclaimed white people. The first uh, came out red all over like a hairy garment, man. You know what I'm saying? Red. 
You know, those people still have that mark on them, which go back to the, the goes back to the, the mark of Cain that was put on Cain in, in the garden in the beginning. You know, they still have that mark on them today, man. You know, the, the Lord took that 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 uh, uh, that pigmentation from them, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's not hard, man. The earth is given into their hand and they changed everything to look like them, man. You know, I think uh, uh, in First Maccabees, the third chapter goes in that as well. Uh, First Maccabees 3 and 48, if I'm not mistaken, uh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, uh, but uh, how, how they went into the book of the law and sought to, to paint the, 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 uh, their images, you know. That's the covering of the judges, man. And that's why you see those fakes in the land today, man. That's that all of these things are, 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 are part of this scripture, this, this prophecy that I'm reading right here uh, uh, in Job, man. Because everything is dealing with prophecy, man. You know what I'm saying? So uh, uh, the earth has been given into his hand, man, which the Lord can do that, man. He can give the earth to whomever he, he pleases. And he tells you that, you know, this is uh, Daniel's chapter four and verse uh, 17. And it reads, this matter is by the, the decree of the watchers and the watchers are the angels and the, and the demand of the, of the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know. The living is us here on the earth. That's what the Lord deals with. He's, he, he's, he's dealing amongst the living, <laughs> you know, that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. So it's about the kingdoms of men. And there was four uh, major empires or kingdoms that was, that was prophesied to rise and fall before the implementation of the kingdom of heaven in Daniel, the seventh chapter, man, you know, the Babylonians, the, the, uh, uh, the medial Persians. The Greeks and the Romans that happened, man. And then, of course, out of the Romans, a little horn uh, uh, was going to come out of them, which is America, you know, which in, in Revelation, the 13th chapter represents one, when it says that the uh, 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 that that uh, that head that took the fatal uh, uh, wound to the head and, and, and came back to and, and, and came back to life. And all the people wondered after the beast or that beast uh, that took the fatal head wound. And, and came back to life and all the people wondered after the beast, which beast, beast represents empires or kingdoms. You know, you can get that in Daniel, the seventh chapter as well, like around verse 23, uh, uh, somewhere in there. You know, the fourth kingdom was, was, was the fourth beast, man. You know what I'm saying? So those beasts are kingdoms talking about the Roman Empire, you know, in Revelation, the 13th chapter, how it would fall, you know, by the hand of, 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 of almost single handedly by, uh, uh, by the name, an Israelite man of, by the name of uh, Septimius Severus. You know what I'm saying? Of course, some other uh, uh, men were involved in that, but primarily him. And of course, we know that it, that was all because of Yahweh shot. You know what I'm saying? You know, he was that angel with the great chain, man. You know, and of course, Esau got taken down. It, the Roman Empire fell. You know, Esau got taken down. He was in rule, you know, and that and 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 uh, uh, went into slave uh, captivity for a thousand years. And then he was released, man, when he came out of it. You know what I'm saying? But that that fatal head wound and, and and then uh coming back to life and and people wandering out to the beast beast was by way of america man you know what i'm saying that's why you have things such as uh they they signed something known as a, the treaty of rome you know what i'm saying then then, then uh they teach uh roman numerals in, in in school man you know uh when you watch the super bowl you see roman numerals when you look in washington dc the capitol building and all these different uh 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 uh, uh, the, the the architecture in Rome in uh, uh, Washington is the same architecture of Rome, man. This is Rome 7.0 all over again. This is Rome again. That's that uh, 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 beast coming back to life, and all the people w uh, wondering after it. That's uh, America, man, by way of America, you know. And those are the are, are, are all the clues that the the Lord gave us that we uh, that we know in these times by way of prophecy who that's talking about man and these people are definitely wondering after the beast because that's why you got all these uh, uh, other countries concerned about the, the the presidency here in the united states man you know what are the purpose would that be you know but let's get back you know this is daniel's four in the middle of uh, uh, of seven, verse 17 it says uh to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will so the Lord does what he wants, man, and setteth up over it the basis of men, which he did. And the, and the basis of men, that's another clue as to who is, is, is uh, uh, the earth 
in uh, uh, the earth is in his hands in these times, man. The Edomites, so-called self-proclaimed white people, you know, they're the basis of men. When you read in Job, uh, the 30th chapter, it goes into that, you know, uh, uh, the uh, the children of base men. And they were viler than the earth, man. That's dealing with Esau, man. Those same people that were chased out, them dark nations, uh, uh, primarily Israel, uh, uh, Israelites, chased them uh, them devils uh, out. And, and they went and hid up in the, in the clefts of the rocks, man, in those mountains back then. You know, uh, I think it was Mount Seir back then. Uh, 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 today, Mount Petra, it's called Mount Petra today, you know what I'm saying? And they've always been in, in, in the, in the, uh, in the mountains and in, in, in the caves, man. You know, that's literally what Caucasian means, cave dweller, man. You know what I'm saying? So, and they came out of the caves of the Caucasus mountains of Georgia, Russia, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so all of these things prove who, who the Edomites are, who the so-called, uh, 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 Caucasians are. They're, they're the true biblical Edomites, man. You know? So, uh, the earth has been given into your hands because the Lord, uh, can do that. <laughs> you know, it says, and he giveth it to whomsoever he will, and he set it up over at the base of men. You know what I'm saying? And when you read, as a matter of fact, in Psalm, the 75th chapter, the, the Lord gives promotion, man. You know, this is Psalm 75 and verse 6. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. But the most high is the judge. He put it down one and setteth up another. He setteth up over it whomsoever he will. And he set it and he and he set up over it the bases of men. The Job 9, 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Given. The Lord gave the earth into this devil's hands for a period of time to fulfill a, a prophecy, man, a blessing that was given to him by Isaac, which in an incarnation is Yahweh, if you can receive it, uh, uh, to fulfill a blessing, man, because uh, Esau cried, the, their, their forefather cried, man, you know what I'm saying? So he gave him a, a, a temporary blessing, uh, uh, which was the kingdom, the earth being in his hand for a period of time, man, and he was going to rule by the, by, by the sword. When you read when you read that that account, man, but there were two blessings given. There was another blessing to, to uh, Jacob, man, when you read uh, uh, up in that chapter, starting around verse 27 or so, you know. As a matter of fact, Hebrews 11 and 20, I like to bring that out. Uh, uh, Hebrews 11 and 20 says that uh, 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 Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau concerning things to come, man. You know what I'm saying? So, but the Lord is, is, is responsible for... For promotion, you know, giving the earth and taking it away, man. You know I'm saying, and that's what has happened, man. So the earth has been in the hand of the wicked, man. You so-called self-proclaimed white people, but there is a paradigm shift happening. That's why I like, <laughs> I like this title, man. You know, I like this the title of this video. This is a paradigm shift. Of course, this dude is not a, a, a dealing from the perspective of prophecy. You know, I didn't listen to it, so I don't know what exactly he went into, but I know this dude is bugged out. <laughs> I know this dude is bugged out. So we're going to keep it going because when you read, as a matter of fact, let me go here. When you read, because that, Salakia, that paradigm shift is definitely happening. And when you read in, 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 in uh, uh, the Apocrypha in Sirach, the 10th chapter, it goes into it. This I'm going to start at verse uh, uh Verse four, the Sirach ten and four. The power of the earth is in the hand of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. You know, so the power of the earth, that same power, that hand that was uh, in uh, Job nine twenty four, the earth is given to the hand. That hand literally means power. So the power of the earth right now has been given into the hand of base men. You know, the wicked. You know, the so called self proclaimed white white man. You know what I'm saying? They have control and rule of the earth right now. But as it says here in Sirach, Ecclesiastes, Sirach 10 and 4, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. The Lord controls these things, man. You know, the Lord don't, 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 hadn't lost control. He still controls the earth, man. You know, even with these devils uh, uh, ruling over it, man, because the Lord gave it to him, man, to rule from his left hand side, you know, the, 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 the side of, of uh, uh, Satan, man, you know, who sits at the left hand side of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? So the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. That one that is profitable is Yahweh Shai, his only begotten son, that first created, that firstborn, that his firstborn, that first created spirit, man. You know what I'm saying? And in joint heir, that's the Israelites beginning and start with, starting with the elect, man. You know, that's the profitable ones that's going to be set over the earth, man. But it's by way of our big brother Yahweh Shai, man, because he was given that blessing in Psalm the second chapter. 
and uh, 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 pursuant to Revelation, the second chapter, you know, uh, uh, the, the Lord is going to give that same his blessing. He's going to share it with his elect, man. You know, Romans 8 and 17, you know, that joint heir, man. You know, so I'm going to jump down to verse 8 now because this is the paradigm shift. Ecclesiastes 10 and 8, because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. So that's what's happening, man. The translation of the kingdom out of the hands of these devils, the Edomites, the so-called self-proclaimed white people, into the hands of the righteous, uh, uh, true uh, uh, heirs of it, you know. Uh, beginning to start with, with our big brother, Yahawashai, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians of Negro descent, man. You know? And this devil has definitely ruled and gained these things by unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches, uh, uh, got, uh, or that deceit, rather. Those riches that he has, the, the, the fullness of the, of the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? Being in his hands, man, in these times, you know? And that's another uh, indication and clue as to who that's talking about, because no other nation has had the the the... the entire earth like these devils had at one point he didn't even have it like that you know so uh during the time of of, of like uh, augustus caesar you know he only had that the known the known parts those regions he didn't have the whole earth man you know what i'm saying that didn't happen until later man so we know who uh, uh that's talking about man but uh, keeping it going, man, because, uh, uh, yeah, this is the paradigm shift, man. You know, the earth being uh, translated from one people to another out of the hands of Esau into the hands of Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's because uh, uh, when, when you read in, in Daniel, uh, uh, the seventh chapter, just like it was given into the hands of the wicked, the Lord is going to give it into the hands of his people. This is Daniel 7 and 27. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given, shall be, you know, that's future. This is a future prop prophecy. It hadn't happened yet. Shall be given, just like the earth was given into the hand of the wicked, shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high. And we know who the saints are. Psalms 50 and 5, Psalms 148 and verse 14, and Psalms 149, verse 1 and 2. You know, the Israelites, man. Uh shall be given to the people of the saints of the most high whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and all dominions shall serve and obey him because at the at the at the helm of that you know the uh, you know is is our big brother Yahawashai, man you know and this is the kingdom which is everlasting man this is the kingdom of heaven man you know it's the earth being given into their hands man to rule it in righteousness man that's what the earth that's what the uh, uh, the kingdom of heaven is man you know what I'm saying? And when you read up in, in, in uh, verse 9, because uh, in verse 18, it goes into how we're, we're going to take the kingdom, you know? And Yahweh I said that if this, if this were my kingdom, my, my servants would fight, man, you know? And there's going to be a fight. That, that war in heaven is coming, man, uh, and, and uh, spoken of in uh, Revelation, the 12th chapter. But when you read up here in uh, Daniel, the 7th chapter, verse 9, it says, I beheld till the thrones were cast down. The thrones being cast down is, is 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 this rulership, man, this current system, you know, and all of these uh, uh, nations represent the thrones, man, you know, because all of them are in cahoots with Esau. As a matter of fact, when you read in Revelation, the 17th chapter, it goes how goes into how they were going to give uh, 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 their uh, as a matter of fact, I can't remember exactly how it's worded. Let me let me go over here real quick. Let me go over here real quick. Revelations, the 17th chapter and. uh. Let me see, where is it, where is it? Uh, see the power. There it is. This is uh, Revelations uh, 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 17 and verse 12. And the ten horns, which is representative of the, of, of the EU today, which thou sawest and are ten kings, which have received no kingdom as yet, but received power as kings one hour with the beast, man. You know what I'm saying? And that's what has happened. You know, they, they're all in, ca in cahoots, man, with each other, you know? So they all are, are sharing that power right now, man. You know what I'm saying? So let's go back to uh, Daniel, the seventh chapter. Uh, in verse nine, because it says, you know, I beheld to the thrones were cast down. So all of those thrones, Russia is a throne. Germany is a throne. Uh, 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 China is a throne. North Korea is a throne. All these different uh, 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 thrones. Iran is a throne. 
You know what I'm saying? Representative of thrones. So it says I beheld till the thrones were cast down because exactly what our big brother is going to do. He's coming back to take them down. All of these governments, man. He's going to take them down and, and, and uh, 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 establish and set up his kingdom in the earth, man. As a matter of fact, when you read in Revelations, it's, it goes into the same things. Uh, uh, the, the 19th chapter and verse uh, 12 is Revelations 19 and 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire. And on his head were many crowns and he had a name written that no man knew but himself. So the, 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 the many crowns on his head is, is, is synonymous with what we were just read in Daniel, uh, the seventh chapter in verse nine. Those those uh, 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 thrones being a uh, plural thrones, plural being cast down, man. You know, he's going to have many crowns on his head because he's going to come and take dominion of the planet Earth, man. You know. That's why in a very. Uh, 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 Verse above it, it says he's coming to, to, to judge and make war, man. That's that war in heaven, man. Uh, in, in Revelation, the 12th chapter, man. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get one more because, you know, that paradigm shift is happening. And that's what exactly what uh, 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 John the Revelator was speaking of. This is Revelations 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea. So, so. Uh, uh, John saw uh, uh, the the elect, the 144,000 being, uh, uh, you know, of course, after the uh, the beam up and uh, the the salvation slash destruction simultaneously, you know, though those men are going to come be beamed back down to the earth, man. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to go through the throughout the four corners of the earth, uh, uh, purging out the the the, the rebels of, of the nation of Esau, and they're going to uh, uh, be in uh, uh, enslaving. The rest of these nations, beginning starting with Esau, man, and these elites, you know, the, the, these top banking families, the, the Rothschilds, uh, 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 Rockefellers, DuPonts, Gaddies, Oppenheimers, you know, Wahlburgers, all these uh, 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 top banking families, man. You know, they're going to be the first fruits of, of slavery in the coming kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's what uh, uh, Esau has to look for, forward to in these other uh, heathen nations as well, because they've all put their hands on the nation of Israel, you know, at some point. And, and, and you know in 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 time man you know what i'm saying but and especially you edomites man you know y'all got it coming man you know but that's what's happening man that paradigm shift is happening so again when i saw this title it, hey i had to do a lesson on it man so uh hopefully that made sense hopefully uh uh you know through the spirit it was edifying and with that giving all praises honor and glory due to yahweh bahasham yahweh shai wahara kakwadash double honors to the apostles and elders at great millstone and peace and blessings to the elect, the house of David, the Bayath, Shah Dawadah, Shalom.